Hi guys, how are you? So I think I never have done a video here speaking in English, but this is the first time. If you like this kind of content, I will try to do it more. So today I want to talk to you about an event that I went last week. This event was amazing. I went to the AWS Summit Mexico City. I really loved it because it had a lot of things. You could be part of different challenges, conferences. Actually, you could get a certification if you want to. You could learn about startups. You can learn about different technologies and how companies use AWS technologies and a lot of things. I was part of the AWS Game Day F1 League. I really, really love to be part of this competition. In this challenge, we needed to analyze real F1 data. That was so, so interesting. There were four challenges and my team and I, we were capable of, of resolve two of them. We're gonna interview some of the AWS members and also the winners of the day. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. The first one was the hardest, but I really, really enjoy it. And I have the privilege to become a reporter. So today you're gonna come back with me in time and we are gonna become reporters. Let's go. Today we're here with Memo Doring. Could you tell me a little bit about your role? What are you doing here? In yeah. I lead developer relations for AWS in Latin America. And we're a group of developers that create content and deliver sessions for other developers. So we're creating really technical content like tutorials, demos, um, and then we also do a lot of content curation. So here at the AWS Summit Mexico City, we were in charge of the entire content strategy for all the technical content for people that are builders that are working directly on the platform, either through the console, an SDK, an IDE, or using an API. Okay, so could you tell me a little bit more about this specific, about uh, the game day? Yeah, the game day. Yeah, so the uh, AWS Game Day is a platform, it's a type of event where developers, builders, can work a challenge um, and they're working as a team to against other teams. So we'll have about 24 teams in here in a little bit. They're starting to stream in and they're going to be working through technical challenges on AWS. Uh, they're all based on F1 data, so it's real data from F1, and they're building a solution, and we have someone in here that's kind of throwing curveballs at them, and they're putting challenges for them, and there's going to be a live scoreboard, and they're going to be getting points as, as, as they're solving these challenges, um, and at the end of the day, someone's going to win, and there's going to be some prizes, but really, it's something you're working on the platform on something that's thought to be similar to what you'll see in the real world, so people that work with their hands on the platform really love it. What is the most difficult part of all this event? So from from a, from an organizing standpoint, <laughs> having a 4,000 person event is hard, but especially because we're so customer obsessed that we want to make everything as good as possible as we can for our customers. And uh, we want to give them all types of different experiences so they can go to sessions and learn something in a more theoretical setting. We want them to be able to work hands-on with some content. Um, we've got the community lounge downstairs and that's where We have community programs for people to get together in their countries, uh, and we have 51 user groups in different cities in Latin America, so you can go find the one nearest you, and there's a lot in the North America and the, in Europe as well, and that's just like-minded people that love AWS and come together to, um, to talk about that. But we have another program called Community Builders that you can apply to about every six months with any blogs or content that you've written. We're, we're going to give you some training and help you get better at as a content creator for on the AWS platform, right? T writing more technical content. Um, but I guess it's challenging. I wouldn't call it hard. It's really rewarding because we get to see and meet 4,000 of our uh, dear customers. So it's, it's always fun. Thank you so much for this interview. Gracias a ti por el tiempo. So today we're here with Cindy Polin. Cindy, could you tell me a little bit about your role? Yes, I'm Head of Solutions Architect in Mexico for Public Sector, and I'm here supporting our Magnus event in Mexico, that is the summit. Um, I'm very happy uh, helping my customers and also my team that we are delivering many sessions uh, for the summit. Thank you. Could you tell me a little bit about game day in specific? Yes, this is a really 
cool thing. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Because the game day is an, a specific like session when um, our customers came to us. And we have, as you can see, students, or maybe we have uh, people from different ages, and they are participating in teams with different roles and they are in doing challenges for F1 uh, in 90 minutes. So the idea is that they are competing with others and they need to put their technical skills in practice. Okay, could you tell me what is the most difficult part of all this event as an organizer? Okay, well, I think the most difficult part is to, to support all the questions that maybe they have in, in the moment that they are doing all the challenges. But we have many solutions architects, we have many people, developers, supporting them. The idea is that they don't feel frustrated with the challenges. They feel like, okay, this is something that I can do. I just need to read, to follow the instructions, and I can do what they, whatever they are asking to me. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. So today we're here with the winners of this competition. <laughs> What's the name of your team? Cascada. Okay, could you tell me a little bit how, how did you feel? How was it? We were really nervous at the beginning. Um, well, actually, most of the time we were really nervous. Uh, just the last 20 minutes we were able to, to accomplish the task. So literally we were zero, scoring zero until the last 20 minutes. And then we were able to succeed. Okay, can you tell me what was the hardest thing of, in the competition? The hardest thing, uh, I believe, that's knowing that we were um, among experts. So, giving or you know, pushing ourselves to, to give the extra, uh, I think, was the, the, the real challenge. Okay, well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> I hope you like this video, I'm gonna try to create more content like this and remember you can follow me on all my social medias as Arelis Reyes. Also don't forget to subscribe and if you have the opportunity of be part of this event, tell me your experience during the summit here in the comment section. Bye!